Yo, what's going on, y'all? This is your boy Razcast, all the way from Amsterdam. You see that? Lies, I tell you. Actually, I'm in LA. Anyway, uh, I'm shouting out my man Diesel, turning the table podcast, man. Uh, if you want really official, dope hip hop reviews on YouTube, make sure you check my man Diesel out. Turning the table podcast for that culture, man. For some honest criticism, constructive, never hate. Um, no bullshit though. No garbage rap. No mumbling. Uh, bars only. All right. Salute Diesel. Looking forward to my review uh, for this next project I got coming. I ain't clearing shit. That's what it's called. All right. Peace, bro. I let my tape drop to my tape pop Now I'm in the, now I'm, now I'm in the limelight Cause I was in the dream Never thought that hip hop, never thought that hip hop Never thought that hip hop Hey yo, what's good, y'all? I'm your boy Diesel, and you rocking with Turning the Table Podcast Hey yo, we get ready to get into the new West Side Gun title Who Made the Sunshine? Now listen, yo, I think I went into this one with a little bit too high expectations. I did, a little bit too high expectations, man. I'm fresh off the Conway from a King to a God album, which is up there for album of the year. I've been listening to some of the new Benny that he got coming out, and that's crazy. And then when you look at the track list and the features on this album, you got Busta Rhymes on here. You got Slick Rick on here twice. You got Jada on here. You got Benny and Conway on here twice. It's only an 11 track album, 40 minutes. The production, you got Derringer and Beat Butcher. They want everything. They producing everything but four songs on here. And the four songs they don't produce, you got Alchemist doing two of them. You got Just Blaze doing one of them. So when I give you all of that, I'm expecting this album to be more than what it was. Now, I'm not going to trash this album because it's not trash. It's just a cool listen. But if you've been following the Griselda movement, if you've been listening to all the music they've been putting out recently, this going to go down to the bottom of your other list, man. This going to fall somewhere there. It's not competing. All right, so let's get into it. Now you got The Butcher and The Blade featuring Conway and Benny. It's your typical Griselda record where they talking on there. Benny and Conway, they was talking on here. What Benny say? My ops get it in two days like Amazon Prime. That was cool. I'm following. I'm with you on this one. Then you got the next dream with Black Thought. Black Thought. He talking on here, but it's not my favorite Black Thought. It's a cool verse. Black Thought got some stuff to say on there. What he say? Uh, the fiends histamines keeping with a snotty nose. With a waist like the place where the shoddy goes. Like, don't get me wrong. Black Thought can rap, but I was expecting like Black Thought. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't my favorite Black Thought. Now, when you get to this next joint, this next joint, yo, this is my favorite song on here yo i cannot stop singing this song i've been singing it for like three days now <laughs> yo even though west side yo when west side get into this bag he sound like puffy on the jealousy joint off mace harlem world album or or the player hater off biggie life at the death album Which they was parody songs. They was singing, being funny. But yo, that's what West Side sound like. All praises, all praises. That's how I shit though, yo. I like this song. This joint got, um, who on this one? Um, Boldie James and Jada on here. Yo, it was cool, but Jada, Jada versus cool COVID-19. That's a stamp on the dope now. But he didn't give me really no bars, you know what I mean? Didn't give me nothing to hold on to. So it was a cool record, but I was I just got finished listening to the Locks album, Living Off Experience. Jada was way better. It was just, you know. All right, so then you got Liz Love Lounge featuring Imani Caesar, yo. I like Imani Caesar on this one, yo. 
Amani Caesar, she on here twice. I like Amani Caesar on this one. Her voice was dope. I like what she was talking about. You know, Westside coming. Remind me of a, he remind me of a Ghostface Wildflower joint on here. You're straight to the point. You know what I mean? But I like that. I like this verse. I like this song. It was a good change of tempo for the album. A good way to talk about something different. You know, I, I really appreciated this one. Yo, Liz Love Lounge. He say, what he say? Uh, every time I squirt, you could take a thousand. I'm about to nut in you. I can't take it out. You like yo? What if he be talk about the nut in you? Like yo? Could you imagine that moment when you beating it up? You know what I mean? And you hit it with your west side. Like I'm about the nut in you. Like, <laughs> hey yo? He be wailing yo. Ocean Prime with Busta Rhymes and Slick Rick on the same bracket. This one was cool too. See how everything has just been cool? This one was cool. You know, I felt like we got a good Buster. Buster came from like his street game, street Buster. You know, he was talking on here. He went to a whole nother language. Yeah, front see front pronto. Like, yo, I looked up the lyrics, the lyrics, yo. I looked up the lyrics with genius. The joints just had a question mark next to the line, like, yo, ineligible. Like, we don't understand what Buster was talking about neither. So it it was cool, yo. What was Slick Rick talking about? Look at Slick Rick lyrics, yo. Listen to it. I read it. I pulled it up. I'm reading. I'm, I don't know. I don't know if it's just going over my head. It's Slick Rick. Yo, am I that dumb, yo? Is my Baltimore City public school education? Yo, am I that far off the radar? Off the Yo, I don't know what Slick Rick is talking about. Yo, I was disappointed in Slick Rick on that one, man. So then you got Frank Murphy featuring Stove God, Flea Lord, SD Mac, El Camino, Smoke Dizza, don't forget that you got freaking uh, West Side. Yo, this song is 8 minutes and 11 seconds, yo. This song is way too long, and they verses is not that dope. When you're going to give me a, a long cypher song like this, it should be a lot more that I could remember from they verses, yo. I did like Stove Top. I mean, I did. That's the call Stove Top. I did like Stove God verse on here. He had the my heat. That was the favorite verse on this song for me. But, yo, this song is going to get skipped, man. I'm not listening to this song 8 minutes every time it come on, man. The fuck is you talking about? I'm not... This song is going to get skipped, man. Good Night featuring Slick Rick, man. This is a story record, and I'm disappointed in this song, man. I'm disappointed. Westside is not your most lyrical rapper. We all know that. I don't listen to Westside for the lyrics, man. I listen to him to be like, oh, praises. You know what I mean? Westside going to give me the streets. Yo, I hear it. I like it, yo. So, 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 so with that being said, yo, Westside's story, he started the song off. His story wasn't that dope to begin with. I'm in and out having to rewind just to try to follow it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so then Slick Rick come on. And I'm hoping Slick Rick gonna really take this home, man. He gonna bring it home. And he and, and when I listen to Slick Rick verse, because listen, this is Slick Rick. This is what he do. Or he dropped the ball on the other joint. He dropped the ball. But Slick Rick tells stories. This is what he do. He tells stories. So when he come on, I'm listening to him and I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I don't even know if his story is a different story or is it a, a part two or his perspective of, of West Side Story. Yo, it just was not. It wasn't good. It, was, it wasn't good. And it wasn't the worst thing I heard, but it just wasn't good. 98 Sabres with Benny Conway, Imani Caesar over the Just Blaze. Listen, I felt like Benny and Conway, even West Side, I like them. Amani, 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 you was on your Emil on this one. You was on your Emil from Rockefeller talking about I'm pampered like the bed wet. What we talking about? I'm pampered like the bed wet. Then he thought, uh, be scared. She be scared when she level up. No elevator, step it up. No, 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 not Griselda. You don't get to say bars like, I'm pampered like the bed wet, elevator, step it up. No, that is so 1998 Cassidy, man. No, no, you don't get, you better than that. 
You better than that. You gang harder than the other joint, man. This album is cool, man, but it's nothing amazing. You get where I'm going with it? It's nothing too amazing. It's, it's a couple songs on here. What I got? 98 Sabres. I got uh, Liz Love Lounge. All praises. All praises. All praises. But anyway, yo, what I say? The Butcher and the Blade. Uh, the Joint with Black Thought. All praises. Liz Love Lounge. And 98 Sabres, yo. They would be some joints that if I heard them, if I heard them on my on, in the playlist while I'm doing something and they come on the playlist, I'm going to appreciate them. Alright, so at the end of the day, yo, this album is just a cool listen for the first time you go through. You just West Side, West Side going to give you some funny stuff that you're going to listen to, but not much to hold on to. Even the features. You know, when I listen to, you know, Buster, it's not like... Buster verse was so dope where I'm like, yo, did you hear what Buster on, on, on West Side New Joint? Oh, yo, did you hear Jada on West Side? Yo, nigga, you slick Rick came out, came out on the West Side joint. You heard Not, nothing about none of these verses on here say that. None of these songs is like, yo, you heard that? It's not. This album is exactly what happens when you're making as much music as he making it on everything, putting out album and mixtape after mixtape. You know what I mean? It's cool, and as a hip-hop fan, I appreciate it, but overall quality of it is lacking. You know what I mean? He tried to fill it up with a bunch of features to fill it up because you're writing all these verses all the time, and the features really didn't come through. He got one song going here by itself, and even the All Praises joint, I ain't even mentioned that he not even rapping on on there he just do the hook other than that he not even on there so at the end of the day yo i would give this album a six and a half i wouldn't argue a seven but for me it's a six and a half and that's just where i'm leaving it at. i'm your boy diesel man